How about this one? The woman. We are just amazing. The woman was made to cook. <laughs> the woman was made to cook, and the man was made to work. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Uh, I'm out, man. What is up, you guys, and welcome back to another video. Today we're doing. Today we're doing the uh, unpopular opinion. Yes, my thing. Yes, sir. So let's get in straight so, into it because so, I'm so hungry. So what did we get to eat today? In this oh, mukbang. So in this mukbang, we are eating um, Wingstop. Our favorite. Yes, it's actually our favorite. I love the wings from Wingstop. Although I like Buffalo Wild Wings too, but no, 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 no. These wing wings, stop is really good. These wings is better. Unpopular opinion. These wings yes. are better. We're gonna be doing unpopular opinions today in a mukbang. So before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. I'm sorry, I'm trying to go fast because I'm hungry. We are starving. I am starving. So oh. that's it. All right, baby. So. You gonna do the first topic? Right, so the first topic is, do people really need Drake to make a hit song? What do you think about that? That's like what 6 9 said in his video on live. That Meek Mill only got, you know, all his views because Drake was on it. And because Nicki Minaj, you know, helped him out too. Mm-hmm. I don't think he's like needed. Per se, because there's a lot of other good rappers. All right, so let's let's say this. But because he's so popular and a lot of people like him, you know, I include it. I like him. No. He makes he. Uh, he makes it hotter. He makes it hotter. So now, let I mean, me ask you a question: If you were a rapper and you had a chance to be on it with Drake, or or, or he offered to be on your song, would you use him? If I was a rapper, would you use him? Yeah. Why would you use him? Because he'll get me more hits. He's using it for, for, to get bigger. I mean, money, money talks, bullshit walks, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, it's, a, the, it's business. the business. It's the business. All right. So, <clears throat> the next topic is, and we got these off the internet, guys. It says, what is one thing that you believe in that other people don't believe in? Hmm. Say mine. Mine is aliens. I believe in the extraterrestrial life, you guys. I really do. And the reason for that is this world is so mysterious. Like about five percent of the ocean has been discovered. So you believe that? But I do believe in them. What I about? mean, this 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 world and universe is huge, so I'm pretty sure we share the universe with mm -hmm. other things, other beings as bomb. All right, do you want to go next or you want me to say another one? Look at your chin hairs. That's why I, that's why I don't like them. Every other food is like a it's like a bird's nest. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna just say another one because he's too busy eating. Okay, don't come for me. Don't come for me. I mean, everybody is entitled to their own opinion, but I found this open tonight and it says Beyonce is overrated. What do you think? What is your opinion on that? Well, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I don't listen to her songs. Okay, so I used to listen to her. Time. I liked her better. I used to listen to her when she was in Destiny's Child. That's when I used to listen to her. She does have good songs that I must say, but I don't see the hype as to the Queen B and she's the Queen of R and B or you know whatever. Mhm. Mm so I just don't see it, but it doesn't take away from the fact that she's a good you know artist. Because I give it to her. She's she's beautiful and her voice, you know, she has a beautiful voice. But I don't see all the hype that people give her, if you understand what I mean. Yeah, I like I said, I, I listened to her when she was in Destiny's Child. I love Destiny's Child. I love all their songs. But I don't know. My opinion, you guys, don't come for me. So Alright, so the next thing is what can make a beautiful woman ugly? Before I answer that, can I have a napkin? Absolutely not. Boy. 
Excuse me, you guys. So, me personally, what can make a beautiful woman ugly is a stank attitude. A woman who knows that she looks good and she thinks that she's top notch. Good to, to, to know your worth and know your value, but you have to remember that. Like a woman that thinks that or feels that she's too good for everybody. Definitely. And it just brings it to personality. You know, like if your personality stinks and you're just like, like, if your personality is just bad and you have bad vibes, like it throws. And looks matter to some people mm -hmm. and looks don't matter to others. And I feel when it doesn't matter, which I think that looks don't matter. Your personality, you know, and it's okay to say, oh, I'm beautiful and like, but to an extent, you know, not to bring others down. So I, I feel that it will be like personality. Yeah, yeah, that's the attitude. This is, mine is really just the attitude. You think you're too hot for the whole world, yeah, you gotta yeah, get a body here. Think. That's it, you gotta get a body here. You know good. Mm-hmm. What about, all right, so I got to know. And comment down below, you know, your opinions. We would love to to hear your opinions, you guys. Definitely. Right. I got one more, right? Go ahead. Well, actually, I got two more. This is my next one. Do you think that money can buy happiness? It doesn't. <clears throat> Listen, money is a temporary feeling. Like, you can buy something that you like and you're happy for the moment, but it doesn't fill the void that you have like if you're unhappy like money doesn't buy happiness money is just a bonus it comes within you or finally in somebody out in somebody else and not necessarily but also the people you have around you you mm -hmm. have to surround yourself with people you know positive positive people yeah you only find happiness with with, with positivity how they like, bring happiness nah because mm -mm. when you die the money's not nothing going with goes you. with you but it only makes you feel, it makes you happy for the moment. Yep. Once you got it, now you you sat again. So damn, walk into the ranch, then get ranch. So you know that's that's that was a good topic. Like that's it. Facts. Period. Done. All right. So let me think. All right. So. McDonald's fries are better than any other fast food restaurant. Yes. You think so? And they're just super salty. That's it. Yeah. It's kind of hard for me because I do love McDonald's fries, but I also love Popeyes. The fries from Popeyes are good. Ugh. Hell no. No? Hell no. I kind of like um Popeyes fries. Uh -huh. They're good, I so I, I can't really choose. So, what do you think is the Papa Fries trash? They trash. No, I think they're good, they, but I can't choose. They I, look like cardboard. I like eating a piece of cardboard. Why? Cause they're they're like soggy looking, or just the the way. Yeah, they soggy looking. It look like a wet box. They look, they look like somebody threw a whole wet box in your fries. Wet box. You know, not a wet box. No, 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 no. So, my next one is avocado tastes better with a bit of salt on it. <laughs> what do you guys think? What do you guys think? What do you think? This is strange. Call me weird. Call me strange. Yeah, but you like avocados. Oh, you don't I don't like avocados. Like avocados you like guacamole. But I like guac. Like, I don't know. That's not weird. I don't know. How about you? <laughs> I love guac. You ever you know what an orgasm feels like? Mm, that's, what the, that's what the avocado does to me. That's kind of dirty. A food? Mm-hmm. So what? So I like the food. <laughs> Comment down below, guys. Let us know your thoughts. Let us know. The next one is <clears throat> people are too nosy and in other people's business. It doesn't apply to everybody, but there's some people that are very, well, let me say, let me change that. Extremely nosy for their own damn good. They're too busy talking about everybody else's business, but they don't talk about this. So I agree with that. What do you guys think? Comment on how about you, baby? That's anywhere you go. Anywhere you go, people are too damn nosy for their own good. 
Facts. This world is full of nosy people. But just in general, there's people out yeah, there that they just be far, talking about people your business people just people because. People as far just to go find out what the situation is. Like, mind your business. We all go through our own problems. Deal with your problems. Facts. And 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 we deal with our problems, and that's it. I'm not worried about anybody else because I feel like I have my own life to live, you know. So I'm gonna focus on my stuff before I focus on anybody else's things, you know. And some people need to learn that, you know. They need to learn to mind their business, you know, and worry about their own stuff, you know. They want to talk about everybody else's situations, but they won't talk about theirs. So you know. So all those nosy people, just mind your business. That's it. And that's it. That's on pew. What else? You cannot, so my other topic is that you cannot change someone. Mm, I think, in my opinion, I think it's true. Like, you know, you can help person will only change if it's within them to change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. You can't make anybody change because they won't change if they don't want to change. Change will only come within yourself. With them themselves. So, I agree with that. 100%. Yeah, my fool guys, I mean this shit like a savage. I'm a savage. My next one is this is a very debatable topic. My next one is, which I also found on the internet, is single mothers are toxic to the development of young men. I don't think, I don't agree with that at all. Because a mother uh, or a, uh, you know, a woman is a single mother, which the father is not around or whether he is around. I don't think that single mothers are you know, toxic. What if she don't want to let him around? That's that's different. And even then, like that's that's you know, to each their own. You know, I feel like having a father figure or having a father around is a bonus. You know, like with with you, me as a woman, right? It's a bonus having him around because he's a great dad. You know, and we've been together. You turned out great. You know, and. My mother know who I love so much. You know, she did a great job in raising you and you know, the girls by herself. She didn't need a man to do so because she taught him morals and how to be respectful on her own. Mm -hmm. It's a bonus to have a man there or a father figure there, or, you know, because a dad isn't the person that, that created you. Or a positive role model, you know, around. Fact. So I feel that woman, can do it on their own. Nobody needs, you know, technically speaking, we don't need fathers around to be, you know, productive or successful because women can teach their kids how to treat a woman. But even then, women, man, we are, we are <laughs> goddesses. We, we give life with the help of a man, yes, but all right, how about this one? The woman- We are just amazing. The woman was made to cook. <laughs> the woman was made to cook and the man was made to work. So for starters, don't you ever say that in your life. Um, I mean- There's some people who do believe in that. Yeah, like- It's, a, like, a lot a, of the old it's like those stereotypes, like a woman was meant to serve a man or to cook for men. Mm -mm. Because we're living in a different generation. This is not back years ago. Mm -hmm. And technically speaking, back in the old days, you know, the man, his sole, you know, job was to provide, you know, pay the bills. And the woman stood at home, you know, raising the kids. And I gave it to them, you know. Times have changed drastically, like, so both equal. It's like a 50 50, you know. It ain't even about that, bro. The economy, everything's going on. Yeah, everything is changing. Nothing, like, we're living in another matches, world. Nothing matches. You can't even have an apartment by yourself. You need to go be with somebody, roommate or something. Nowadays, we know women know how to take care of themselves. We don't need a man to do that. And some, and there's some men that don't need a woman to cook because they know how to cook. So, it goes hand in hand. 
What do you think about this? Comment, guys. Everybody's entitled to their own opinions, you know? Nobody's right and no one's wrong. You know, everybody has opinions and, you know, that it is what it is. All right, guys. So, I have no more questions. I, I have no more topics no to more talk topics. about. Yeah. So, we're going to end this video right here. If you made it this far, guys, comment your opinions. Make sure to like. Make sure to subscribe. Um, and join the Chronicles. Join the family. Whatever you want to call us. Yes, sir. And until the next video, you guys. Peace.